Hello everyone, my name is Darlene Arneson. I serve as president of Sons in Our Way Mat Lodge in Stoughton, and I'd like to call this meeting to order. Welcome to Mat Lodge Sons in Norway. We are gathered together to celebrate the heritage and culture of Norway, both past and present. We are also here to enjoy the fellowship that is a vital part of our lodge. So welcome everyone to another meeting uh, via COVID. So we uh, sure wish again that we were done at the lodge um, for our November meeting, but uh, we will do the best that we can to share some information and uh, in this uh, meeting program we're going to celebrate the 125th anniversary of Sons in Norway. But before we start I'm going to share my screen as our lodge needs to drape our charter in memory of Clarence Olson. Clarence Olson died where he was born, October 28, 2020, in Westby, Wisconsin. He was born on January 2, 1923, to Otto and Ella Olson on the family farm homesteaded in 1848. He attended a country school and graduated from Westby High School with honors in 1942. He attended Platteville State Teachers College, leaving to join the Navy during World War II. In the Navy, he was a member of the V-12 program, where he played in its concert, marching, ceremonial, and dance bands. Upon discharge, he enrolled at the University of Minnesota, earning a bachelor's degree in dairy science, a master's degree in genetics, and later a PhD in nutrition. Clarence began his employment as an extension dairyman at the North Dakota State University in Fargo, North Dakota, where he led programs to revitalize the dairy industry after World War II. He was joined by his new wife, Louise, where they, and they parented their four children. In 1961, he joined the University of Wisconsin-Madison Dairy Science Department as a leader of educational and training programs for the National Dairy Herd Improvement Program. Under his leadership, participation by farmers increased to include well over half of the dairymen in the state and the average milk production per cow more than doubled. His major accomplishment was to replace the Babcock test for measuring butterfat in milk with a quick, highly accurate test that was immediately adopted by the dairy industry nationwide. In retirement, Clarence became, became proficient in the Norwegian rose mulling art and won numerous awards at state and national shows for his basic and original designs. Clarence was an active member of the community as a member of Bethany United Methodist Church and its choir, Trouts Unlimited, Yggdrasil Liter Literacy Society, Epsilon Sigma Pi, Middleton Ionic Lodge, Scottish Rite, and the 32nd Degree Masons. He was especially committed to the Boy Scouts where he earned the Council's Award of Merit, Silver Beaver, and Lifetime Achievement Awards. He twice received the National Scoutmaster of the Year Award. He was also a member of Sons in Norway Matt Lodge in Stoughton. Clarence was an avid gardener and his vegetables, fruits, and flowers knew no bounds. He taught these skills to his family so that they too would enjoy the year-round benefits. He was a devoted husband of 72 years. He loved his children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren dearly, and was active with them in their careers and activities. Clarence is survived by his children, Janet, James, David and Donna, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and a sister, and numerous nieces and nephews, as well as many colleagues and friends. Clarence was preceded in death by his wife, Louise, siblings Pearl, Jean, Burton, and son-in-law, Dale Johnson. The family would like to thank the staff of the Gardens Independent Living for their care and support. A private Masonic funeral service was held on November 4th, 2020. So we'll take a moment of silence to remember Clarence Olson. So some items of business. So just a reminder, some changes on our calendar. Uh, we are regretfully uh, announcing again that there will not be a November bake or vendor sale. We've had some inquiries from people asking if we have lefsa or donuts for sale, and we do not. The freezers are empty. Uh, we don't plan on making any um, with the um, renewed and, and uptick in COVID cases. Um, we really don't want to put people in close proximity of one another in the kitchen. Uh, we can only have 10 people or less in the kitchen to prepare those items anyway and uh, just felt it was safer not to. We will not be having our December meeting program which typically is the Edvard Grieg chorus um, or we will not be going Eula booking as well. So we have some optional or some other plans to, to do some outreach to our members that I'll talk about in a few minutes. 
A huge thank you to everyone who was involved with our Foundation Month activities. Um, thank you to Jens Arneson, our Foundation Director, for conducting the online auction. And a big thank you to everyone who donated items, who bid on items, who promoted it, and, and eventually bought items. So we raised $1,945 um, with the auction. We had $140 that was given directly to Matt Lodge that will be passed along to the Sons of Norway Foundation. And so at last week's business meeting, um, it was approved to send in $2,100 from the Lodge. And also thank you to those of you that have sent um, other donations directly to the Sons of Norway Foundation. We do get credit for those. So we'll be looking for our Lodge totals as they wrap up the foundation um, year and, and so on at, at month end and also at year end. Uh, we uh, had the um, envelopes that were in the Viking issue, so thank you if you took advantage of using those um, or if you have questions on how to donate to the foundation, you can let us know. With the success of that auction, there was discussion about should we have another auction? So uh, we don't want to do anything before um, the holidays, but we were thinking maybe in February we might do something for Valentine's Day and maybe Easter baskets or something like that. So we will we'll discuss that at the next business meeting. Um, we are planning on having the family Christmas event, but it'll have a lot of changes this year, uh, namely that it'll be all outside. So the date is Saturday, December 12th. We're planning on having Santa available from 830 to 1130. Everything will be in the in the outside, so you need to dress for the occasion. We are not going to have uh, visitors coming inside. Uh, we basically will be having people line up, um, socially distancing um, every six feet apart in front of the lodge, walking down the driveway to the behind the lodge. As they get to that side entrance door, um, the families can put in their orders for what they need from the dollar store. Um, they won't be able to pick their items um, themselves this year. We are going to pre-wrap all the bags, but we'll have them sorted by uh, gifts for women, gifts for men, gifts for siblings, boys and girls, and, um, and so they can let us know how many of each one of the bags that they need. From there, they'll proceed to have their picture taken with Santa. Our plan is to have Santa in front of the small shed in the back with Santa on the right-hand side, a plexiglass barrier in between, and then the children on the other side. So they'll be able to um, share with Santa what they like for Christmas, visit a little bit, um, and then the parents or whoever brings them can take their pictures. We will not have a photographer there this year. After they finish with their pictures, they will uh, proceed over to the corner of that kind of grassy area. We'll have another table set up and there they will get their um, their dollar store bags. The assembled orders will be ready with their uh, name on the, the bag and they can pay for them there. We'll have a donation jar and we'll also um, be giving them a bag of craft items and color sheets that they can take home to do. So our plan again is to have everyone outside, uh, no um, guests or visitors inside the lodge at all. We hope that they all go to the bathroom and so forth before they come. Uh, we may have some items for sale on the front uh, porch of the lodge, um, um, maybe cookbooks and some of the items from the District 5. So in preparation for this, we do uh, need some assistance and, and some donations. Uh, we could use some uh, gifts for adult men and also for the siblings, boys and girls gifts if possible. We have a lot of, of women's gifts, lots of Christmas items and so forth. So we really are looking for men's gifts and then for those siblings, activity books or games or, or things that brothers and sisters might like because they often are on those shopping lists that the kids have. We also are going to be preparing all the craft bags and color sheets and so forth. And so um, Vicki Goplin and Lori Tigan are, are having some volunteers assembling those. So if you're interested in helping, you can contact them. Um, Vicki is also in charge of the dollar um, bag, um, kind of the store. And so she will be getting um, some volunteers to come in and to uh, get those bags prepared. We want the bags to sit for at least a week before the event so that there isn't any issue with uh, you know COVID and handling things and then handing them right to the kids. So 
We are doing our best to keep everything as sanitized as we can and as few people inside at one time working on that. Uh, we are following the Dane County um, Health Department's restrictions and also um, the protocol for cleansing um, areas that we're working in. So we look forward to that. It's nice to have something for uh, the kids and so forth to be able to do this year. We also are going to be hosting the blood drive at the fire station on Tuesday, December 22nd. We will have two shifts, one from 10 until 1.30 and one from 1.30 to 5. Uh, we are not able to bring in any baked goods, so basically we're looking for volunteers. We need about five per shift, so if you could contact me if you have interest in helping, that would be great. Um, we also have a, a opportunity for a virtual genealogy class. Um, District 5 did a cultural survey and one of the um, items that people wanted were, uh, was a beginning genealogy class. So they are working with the Norwegian American Genealogical Center and the Library in Madison. There are two options for this class. One is November 30th and December 1st, which is during the, the business week, during the day. The second uh, class is going to be on two Saturdays, January 9th and 16th. So you can sign up via NAGC. Um, I will be sending out that information. We posted it on our Facebook page, but we'll be getting that information as well as future classes sent out for the members. Um, in regard to our COVID survey, we were hoping to have some small in-person group sessions with some of the different uh, interest areas, but due to the rising numbers, we are, are going to discourage getting together in person and uh, we'll try to be setting those up virtually. So we will be uh, coordinating that with those who had signed up and uh, to see kind of what they were looking for and, and kind of a schedule and then we can help to promote those. Um, we also, um, because we're not EULA booking and because it's important to reach out to our members and all members, regardless of, of whether they're um, on, the, um, on the more um, experienced or seasoned side of life or if they're younger members with young families and so forth, uh, we really want to set up a calling chain and an outreach to all of our members. So we will be uh, looking for some volunteers who would like to uh, pick up the phone and just do some calling and visiting and uh, just bringing some cheer and finding out what's happening with with everybody um, and so um, watch for that opportunity in the next newsletter and um, if you're willing to take a list of uh, members to call we would love to connect you with them and we also will be having a newsletter coming out in the next week or two uh, with a lot of the details for this I'm kind of compiling my information for that so uh, lots of fun things we has, have also had some questions about um, you know the sports uh, medals and so forth in that virtual walk to Norway the virtual walk is done but we are promoting the sports program and uh, they have different um, tracking cards for walking, for um, for Edric, the general fitness, for skiing, for biking, for swimming. So um, we encourage you to use those. I will be sending some of those out um, in attachments so that you can use those tracking ones and then those can be sent to Todd Fossum or to Jens Arneson uh, to submit for the medals once you qualify. So that's kind of where we're at on those. So at this time, I'm going to share my screen again. So uh, the um, 2020 um, has changed uh, quite a bit in what we thought was going to happen this year, but we are still celebrating the 125th anniversary of Sons of Norway. Uh, we had uh, hoped to um, you know, be in Norway for the um, celebration at the International Lodge meeting, which was canceled. Um, that was to be held in ring soccer. Um, but we have had lots of different ways that we can um, have been you know, looking at the history of our organization and then looking ahead. Um, in December, on December 8th through 10th, they're going to do a virtual celebration. So um, again, I'll be sharing and I've been forwarding some of the information where they're looking for your singing voices or stories or photos and so forth um, to help with that celebration. So take advantage of those opportunities, please, if you, if you have a, a desire to do. But they did a really nice um, video on the history of Sons of Norway. Um, there isn't speaking in it. It's got some background music and so forth. But at this time, that will be our program tonight. This is found on the International Sons of Norway, which is the YouTube channel is called Sons of Norway HQ for headquarters. And so we are going to go to that at this time. And I'm going to just sneak to the um, 
to this. And so uh, this is our, uh, I've got it saved on our YouTube channel for the Lodge, but we will get going with uh, the history of Sons in Norway, honoring the past and looking to the future.
That is the history of Sons in Norway. So I want to um, show you where we have this housed. It is on um, our one of our playlists for our um, Sons in Norway um, website um, on the on the YouTube channel. So the YouTube channel is called Sons in Norway Matt Lodge Stoughton, Wisconsin. We have several different playlists um, on there. We have one for um, District Five training videos. That's where a lot of um, kind of background information is and and things on like the tube friend the stamp program and this um, video that you just watched. Our lodge meetings are on um, the next one, Sons of Norway Matt Lodge Lodge meetings, and then we have some, some other things that are, are there as well. So um, that's where you can find it. So who knew back in January when they posted that video on what challenges would lie ahead in 2020 and uh, you know the the issues that we'd be dealing with as lodges and members. So um, but in that um, respect though we also look forward to 2026 when it'll be Matt Lodge's 100th anniversary and as we look um, in this video at the the history of the Sons of Norway organization we'll be able to also look back at our lodge is 100 years of, of being a vital part of the Stoughton and surrounding communities. So, so anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that little bit of history. But as always, we want to wish our, um, our birthday and anniversary celebrants um, for the month of November a happy birthday and happy anniversary. We hope that you find a, a good, safe way that you can celebrate with loved ones and, and um, celebrate that special day um, in your life. Um, officers and members, I want to thank you for tuning in this meeting. Our next um, business meeting will be on Thursday, December 3rd, as usual, um, during Advent and Lent, um, during the month of December and whenever Lent falls during the year, we move our meetings to Thursday meetings. Um, we realize that some of the churches still aren't meeting in person, but they might be doing online Advent um, um, you know, services or, or um, interaction with their members. So we don't want to have to have you decide. So we will have our business meeting on Thursday, December 3rd, and then I'll post the December meeting um, or on December 10th. So at this point, um, may peace and harmony prevail in our lodge. Um, I call this meeting adjourned and thank you for watching. We hope that you continue to be well. And if you, there's something we can help you with, please let us know. And again, many of the details that I covered tonight will be in the next newsletter. Thank you.